Transit-oriented development is development that is integrated with an LRT station or a bus transit centre. It builds neighbourhoods that allow people to live near an LRT station, enjoy shopping, entertainment, business, uh, recreation and destinations that are close to the station. Transit-oriented development is needed for Edmonton because, I mean, our city is growing so rapidly and as part of that, we need to find a way to integrate land use and development with transportation. This means taking advantage of our existing LRT system and all the new stations that we plan on adding to that system. The transit-oriented development guidelines are important because they describe the types of development the City of Edmonton would like to see around existing and future planned LRT stations and transit centres. Those expectations are important because what they do is set out the types of land uses we want to see around stations, a mix of uses, housing, shopping, employment. It's also really important to understand how our buildings are being designed to be attractive, how they support the street. We also need to pay attention to the public realm. So how are we designing our sidewalks, our boulevards, our parks and plazas? Okay, the next thing I want to do is put on these sunglasses. There's a camera inside. I'm going to take you on a trip. I want you to see through these sunglasses the vision of transit-oriented development. Here we are at the LRT station. I've just gotten off here at McKernan Belgravia. This station is really great for uh, how it's integrated. Plenty of room for, for cycling and for locking up your bikes. It's just a really great example of how you can walk to this LRT station or bike to it. There's lots of shopping and park space. If we can get, provide a framework for the land uses, the building forms, the sidewalks, the design of the public realm, the streets and the uses and how they should be integrating with each other and allow us to connect to the LRT with pathways and bikeways, that's going to give all of the residents a better quality of life. So here we are at Bay Station on Jasper Avenue and 104th Street. This is a really great example of transit-oriented development. Okay, as you can see, there's a lot of residential here, which has attracted a lot of different commercial and office, and that in turn has attracted a lot of retail, a lot of coffee shops, restaurants. There's a farmer's market on the Saturday and a university around the corner. This makes it an excellent place to live, work, and play. The transit-oriented development guidelines work by setting out expectation for development, and as part of that, when the city receives a rezoning application or an application to amend or create a new plan, the guidelines then come into effect to then shape development around LRT stations. Okay, now here we are at Central Station at 102nd Avenue and 100th Street. Behind you, you have Stanley Miller Library. We've got Citadel Theatre, we have Windspear Theatre, we have the Alberta Art Gallery, and behind me we have City Hall. We've got everything here as part of the Arts District, and it's just a fantastic, exciting place to be. When people have the opportunity to live near an LRT station, they have an opportunity to use their money for other things. They might not need a car. They have the opportunity to have shorter trips. They might have the opportunity to shop nearby. And when people are able to use another mode of transportation, such as LRT or walking, there's a lower impact on the environment and so we can all be healthier. The guidelines are used by the public, by developers, by the city staff and also city council to communicate, educate and set the expectations for development around LRT stations and transit centres. It's important that we have these guidelines so everyone is clear as to uh, what one can expect in, in living near a station and what kinds of development may occur over time. It's very important for citizens that we create a city that's more compact, vibrant, livable and transit-oriented development can do that.